my next video is about you know how human beings came guys to, to this continent you know how human beings came to north america it's about you know three hispanic people guys who inhabited you know this area and uh, this area that it is guys uh, north america we don't know much about it i study history at the university of el salvador and they never say anything about this these are the theories of population you know how they populated guys our continent okay i explain everything i give data and here guys this is a video that explains how you know human beings were able to cross what it is now known as the strait of Bering. here guys is asia this is alaska okay north america here guys we have the ocean 21 21,000 years ago this was a land bridge and the name of this land was beringia all the the, 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 the there, there were icebergs and the water was frozen so the levels of the sea you know came down came down yes. and as a result guys uh, here you know it appeared uh, an area of land that was you know dry so people from asia were able to cross you know the bridge take a look at the evolution guys, and look how this number changes you see take a look it's Spanish, you see. It is changing here now. Take a look. You see. You see how it is decreasing? Okay, so you see guys, you see? There is a bridge that allowed human beings cross from Asia, but then of course the glacier, the, the ash sheets disappear, you know? Okay. But you can see the changes, guys. Okay, and we have some more data here, guys. You know, these are the theories that explain how the continent was populated by people who came supposedly from Asia, from Europe, and from Australia. But the, but the last, you know, theories don't have like a lot, a lot of validity because there is not enough evidence. The two theories that are the most important are the ones that are, are you know the ones that are represented by these two arrows that we got in here okay i think it's very interesting you know this is what they were hunting and this is why they what did they cross this is why they came to america they were hunting mammoths okay uh, you know this is uh, how they would build you see their their shelters they would build these shelters out of the material that they will get you know from these huge animals these animals were gigantic guys and this is a weapon that has been used guys in the american continent continent for more than 10,000 years the atlat is throwing a stick was used in recent history by eskimos and also there is the coincidence that it was also invented in australia okay evidence from north america suggests 10,000 years of use you see they would use it guys for war but mostly you know to hunt uh, animals this device would give a lot of energy guys to the spear and that would help them to kill animals more effectively okay this is a settlement that was dis discovered in ukraine guys this settlement it was frozen and it has got guys let me see well guys it, it was discovered in 1965 it was located in Mesirich. Uh, it, it was built with bones bones of mammoths mammoths and uh, okay this is the evidence the evidence uh, that the evidence you know, that, that archaeologists look for and that help them to explain how the american continent was populated and where human beings come from this one guys it is 15,000 years ago old you see when the bridge of Beringia was you know getting uh, uh, when the bridge of Beringia was getting formed you see this is another settlement these are people that were discovered in florida they were buried guys in this way and here guys in the brains i mean in their skull they're fine they found treachers of i mean tissues of brain and this helped them to make DNA tests that would use them to compare the biology of these people with the biology of pre-Hispanic people in America and people in Asia. Okay, this is important. This is the scale of time. 
that it is just the guys and this is the geography of the United States you know? the Appalachian Mountains the Great Plains the Rocky Mountains on the west we have the Rocky Mountains these are like barriers you know if people want to come from the east to the west they have to cross these mountains and also these mountains over here and all this area guys it's very rough look at the geography okay this is the region of the Great Lakes guys and here we have some little deserts okay okay this is you know the Great Plains is a flat area this of plains over here guys of land stretching from Canada to South Texas and from Rocky Mountains guys over here east to the woodlands these are the woodlands you see near the Mississippi River the Mississippi Missouri River it's very important guys, because you know it gave life to all this region and here guys an important city you know it came about Cahokia that was the name of the city okay I, I didn't know guys there was here you know uh, a city that was so powerful and developed and I thought that you know we tend to think that people who lived in North America they were very primitive and we tend to think that the best civilizations you know emerging in Mesoamerica no guys that is not true you see? Uh, these are you know what it is known as cultural regions you study cultural regions by considering these uh, characteristics the strategies of surviving uh, kingship kingship is relaciones de parentesco political structures uh, culture material and spirituality the spirituality that they had guys before the Europeans came okay. This is Mesoamerica, guys. Here, you know, two agricultural revolutions took place. Here is guys who are, you know, they domesticated corn, frijolitos, and calabazas. Squatches, in English, calabazas is squatches. But, you know, when I studied at the university, I learned that this was the only place where an, the agricultural revolution took place, and that was not true, guys. It also happened in the southeast of what is now known as the United States. But here they domesticated all other, you know, other plants. The, the sunflower, the squishes, and some plants that I don't know what they are. Iba anua and quinoas, which is something, you know, people consume a lot, guys, in this place of North America. Okay. These are, you know, the tribes that inhabit in and the eastern area of north america the cherokees the creek and they were a confederation they had a strong political structure and they were even able to face you know the europeans the seminole the how no shot let, let me concentrate house and no shani this is the house and no shani okay this was a the the iroquois confederacy okay iroquois what else do we have Ecological evidence, you know, they were planting corn, which is so corn, guys, has been around for about 6,000 years and it is originally originally from America, you know, also frijolitos, which we love to eat. And this was the first peoples that we know about, guys, that inhabited, you see, the continent. These were the Inuits, okay, and they were in. Alaska, what is nowadays Alaska, Canada, the United States, and they invented the sleighs that were pulled, you know, by, by horses. Okay, they were pulled by horses. They were very technological, and these are the theories that explain, guys, you know, how America was populated. You know, it's very interesting. It is believed that in the whole continent, when Europeans came, there were guys between 50 and 100 million people that is a lot of people guys in, in the whole continent but now in north america okay in north america this region it is believed guys that there were you know between 1 million and 10 million people okay that's a lot of people but 90 percent die when europeans came you know 90 percent die when europeans came uh, because you know because because of the diseases that were were brought guys by the europeans my goodness they're sending me lots of messages okay guys uh, 
here we have a little theory what here in North America we don't have great civilizations like the ones that took place guys in Mexico and Central America the Mesoamerican area okay all right we got it we got it my god I keep on interrupting these are the eight you know cultural regions coastal range basin range Rocky Mountains Great Plains Interior Lowland Canadian Chill Appalachian Mountains Coastal Plains if you watch the video guys I explain this vocabulary in Spanish so you, you will probably be learning something along the way Esmeralda is coming late okay more explanation on you know this is you know these are the woodland this is and the, the tribes that inhabit in, you know, the eastern uh, part of, you know, the eastern part, guys, of, of what is now North America. And here we got, you know, some tribes, and the Cherokee, the Powhatan, the Delaware, the Wampanoag, you know, the Iroquois, okay? Okay, this is how Americans understand that the United States now they these are like the regions that they consider when they talk about the geography of the United States 